Hey guys, my name is Kat Kerr, and today we're going to be making this journal page using my new stencils from Stencil Girl Products. Now, if you're not familiar with them, be sure to stop over at stencilgirlproducts.com to check out my new release, as well as all the other stencils that I've designed for them. Now this release is the first release where I've designed masks instead of stencils. Now if you're not familiar with masks, masks are basically the reverse of a stencil. It's the piece that has been cut out of the plastic sheet, the negative space. So if you're using it in your journal, it leaves the reverse image of the design. Now today I'm using my 9x12 I Am Collage Mask and I'm simply applying black acrylic paint through the mask onto a 6x9 disbound journal. Now once that black was dry I added some Marabou Art Spray, this beautiful purple color and also cocoa color. And these are two colors that I normally don't use together but for some reason they were calling me and I think they worked very well together. Um, Art Spray is still transparent and so you can still see the design on the bottom and then I topped it off with some turquoise interference by DecoArt Media. It gives it a nice shine. Now I still needed a pop of shimmer so I took some of that Extreme Sheen Gold by DecoArt and applied it through the mask using a cosmetic sponge and I just love the way it came out. And then I finished off with some splatters of white acrylic paint. Now for the focal I did something I haven't done in a really long time and that's fussy cutting. I copied an image and used it as my focal and then I took some cardstock that had some decorative elements and I fussy cut and created and cut out all of these different elements to create her clothing. Now once I was happy with the design and the layout, I glued them all into place using matte medium. I finished the page by using a black Stabilo pencil on the outside, adding a title, and then using a dry brush and some light paint to um, just add dry brush strokes throughout the page just to kind of grungy it up a bit. I really do love the way this page came out. I think the background really, really pops. And the focal is just something that, again, I haven't done in a long time doing that fussy cutting. And I have a feeling I'm going to get back into it because it was a lot of fun. For the complete list of materials, see the description below. And don't forget to stop over at Stencil Girl Products and check out my new masks.